Right. So, Piers, you seem absolutely content to not only compare yourself to Nelson Mandela, who served 27 years in jail for what they described as terrorism at the time, but yet you cannot see what the vast majority of human rights organizations in the world see when they look at the Palestinians. When you look at UN Resolution 194, paragraph 11, the Palestinians have the right to return home. Almost a, a million of them were displaced in 1948 with the foundation of the State of Israel. And what we are now on the brink of is Palestinians, millions of, millions of them, being driven into the Sinai Desert with help of the US Delta Force, yeah, but Loki, with Loki, help let of me the jump British. In. This let me jump is in. a manufactured, making... an Israeli manufactured okay. humanitarian catastrophe in you Gaza. Making... There is a 23% making... infant mortality Loki, rate let me say in Gaza. Something. Let me say something. I completely agree with you about the plight of the Palestinian people. I've tweeted about this for the last two weeks. No, no, to be fair, you haven't, Piers, and this is not journalism. Shirin Abu well, Akhla was tweets. journalism. Yasser Murtaja was journalism. Mu'taz uh, Azaiza, that's journalism. Palestinians right. are reaching out from the cage that Israel has put them in, and they are trying to speak to the world. Yeah, and they are I'm being met, saying, they are being met with cold indifference. And I would say to you, Piers, I would say to yeah. you that that gentleman that you've just had on the show, Mark, mm -hmm. Regev, Mark Regev, he belongs in The Hague. David mm -hmm. Petraeus, you know, Piers, you made your reputation as opposing the invasion of Iraq. Well, yeah. I would ask you, journalist to journalist, how mm. could you justify the interview you just gave to the head of US forces in that illegal occupation of Iraq that David Petraeus led? He was then the head of the CIA. Both of the individuals mm. that you have just had on this show deserve to be in The Hague tried for war crimes. I am not anything like them. I have not hurt a fly. Those two men have. Why are they given the respectability that you gave them with your interview? And why am I interrogated as if I am somehow someone that could hurt a human being? Well, certainly in Mark Regev's case, I pushed him hard on all the positions Israel that wasn't is currently hard. adopting. That wasn't well, okay. hard. Uh, let me explain. 